Big Brother Bruce, and we are back here at WMAS Media. And today we're going to try to put together a, I don't know if you want to call it a survival kit, but like an everyday carry or, you know, type of a kit from the dollar store for 50 bucks. We will do that for you today. Big Brother Bruce, the first store we're gonna go into is Dollar Ram right here. In Ontario, I live in Ontario, Canada. I don't wanna say my city or town. But we have very limited things at our dollar store, so we're gonna have to go to two. We're gonna have to go to Dollar Rama, and we're gonna go down to the Dollar Tree. We're gonna to try to pick out some shit. One of the first things that you should have in your EDC carry case is big <laughs> garbage bags. You want a large <laughs> size contractor garbage bag. This is great for many different purposes. You can catch water, you can clean up things, you can use it as a bed roll. Very good thing to have in your kit. Another good thing you want to have in your kit is some bleach. Why? Because bleach is a good disinfectant. It's good to clean up items in different tools and areas. And one part of bleach to nine parts of water can help purify your water, help you get rid of some of the impurities in drinking water or rainwater if necessary. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to get in your kit, especially if you have a couple days down, say you're in a lost situation, or you're an escape convict and you're trying to get out of the country, I don't know, in some kind of a scenario where you are down off grid and you need food, the best way to buy your food is gonna be canned food. Canned food is gonna give you a long shelf life and it's not gonna spoil. And I'm not going to purchase any canned food today because you know, I don't need it. But I'm just trying to show you how you would put a kit together. This would be helpful. Like You could eat on this for a couple days. It's going to stay fresh for months in this can. It's not going to go bad. Sardines, only a dollar. You know what I mean? Different meals you can provide yourself with if you're in a survival scenario trying to stay alive. Definitely check out your dollar store for its canned foods. Definitely a good place. And dried foods too. Your dried good stuff. There's all kinds of stuff you can pick and choose from that will, that will keep its shelf life good for you. Obviously one of the number one things you're gonna to wanna to have in a survival kit carry is water, okay? Right here you can get four of these for a dollar. Four of these is exactly what is recommended for eight glasses of water in a day. 500 milliliters is two glasses of water. That's how you have to look at it. So that's four glasses, six, eight. There's your eight glasses of water for the day for $4. And you can always reuse the plastic bottles as well. You can always reuse these for different things, different processes. So definitely pick up four for a dollar. Okay, that's worth it in your kit, in your case. Another good thing for a nice little carry kit survival is flame or flint fire starter. Here's a fire starter wood log. Aluminum, you know, a fire starter. This is good, like, stuff to get fire started. So we're going to pick up one of these. I don't know. I'll pick up one of these. I like matches. You have different lighters you can choose from. I like boxes of matches, personally. Okay? So for $1.25, you get 250 of them. I'll, get, I'll take a box of matches. That's good to have. I'll take some, some Kindle. Another thing good to have in your kit. Lighting, candles, candles can provide heat. Candles can provide light. What if the power grid goes down? We all go through power outages. We all experience that. All, every summer, everyone's power goes down at least once, storm or something. But what if you're in a real scenario where something happens and the grid's out for three weeks, four weeks? Now you have provided light and heat. And you can get them in different sizes and stuff. The dollar store is really good with providing that. I say choose the type of candle that suits you, but today we'll go with these little tea lights. These little tea lights, like I said, you get 32 of them for two bucks. They can provide you with heat and light. Another really good item to have, you can have little fish lures if you're lost, if you ever need to fish to catch fish. Cheap little thing you can get at the dollar store for survival. Carabiner packages, this is really cool. And link hooks, this is really good to have. Okay, we're gonna go to a different one. All purpose rope and definitely some paracord. Definitely get yourself some paracord, okay? Definitely. Another great item to have in your kit is super glue. Super glue is a great item because it can work as stitches. 
could definitely patch up holes. But you can't, you don't have needle and thread if you don't have a first aid kit. You can close a cut with super glue, and it's sanitary. So this is definitely something I put in there. And your duct tape as well. Don't forget your good old duct tape, okay? Don't ever forget duct tape. Multi-purposes with the duct tape. Obviously, the better the brand, the better, but very good item to have. Another good thing to have, if you want in your kit, could be your citronella candles. They're very cheap at the dollar store. I'm not gonna put none in my kit. Uh, you can get this for two bucks. There's a bunch of them. Keep all the flies and mosquitoes away from you. Good to have. Different things like this, very good to have in your kit. Okay? Also, <clears throat> I should put some in, but I'm not going to. Also, you can always get little lanterns and little cheap things like this from the dollar store too that provide light. Especially cheap batteries. You can go buy all the cheap batteries you need at the dollar store too. We're not going to throw those in the kit. We're working with $50, but I'm also giving you ideas and you want to spend a little bit more. Say we built a $100 kit. I would put these types of items in with extra batteries. All at your dollar store. This is something that I would suggest putting in your kit. Why, you might ask. It's a collapsible container that will carry up to five liters of water with a spout. Very, very handy. Say you were getting water from the lake, you had to boil it off, you have to transport it around. Something to put in your kit. One of the things that's important to have in your kit is proper, if you don't have a first aid kit, obviously it's proper bandages, uh, gauze, I definitely get some gauze to help you make bandages. Some diarrhea relief, definitely necessary in a, in a grid out situation. People have died from dysentery, from diarrhea, shitting themselves to death. I'm not joking about that. This is definitely a good thing to stock up on. And your, your ibuprofens and headache medicines and, and different painkillers and acid reducers. Definitely stock up on these things in the grid down scenario. But for your, your travel kit, I would go with some cheap ibuprofen for headaches. And you know, I'll go with this for headaches. As far as diarrhea and shits go, teach is their own. It depends on your stomach. Same thing with bandages and gauze. I'd buy a little bit of gauze for sure, for sure. And some alcohol or peroxide. I was able to get everything that you see me pulling out of that dollar store for $30. It was $29.53. So, so far, so good. We got one more dollar store to go to and that's where I'm gonna to try to get the rest of these tools. So follow me. We are back today. We're gonna go into the Dollar Tree now and finish this build. I spent $29.53, I got 20 bucks left. Let's see what I can do with 20 bucks at Dollar Tree. Another really good thing that could, you could use in your kit, believe it or not, would be some of these glow sticks. And you say, why? Because if you're stranded somewhere and it's pitch black dark, they definitely will stand out in the pitch black darkness. That neon light, crack that, break that, and start waving around, people might see that and come find you. The Dollar Tree has a much better selection of tools. So with that being said, for your kid, a nice little mini hacksaw. Perfect, perfect. A utility knife, very good thing to have. Very good thing to have. You have carabiners. You have a pocket tool, like a pocket knife, Swiss Army thing. You also have your 11 in one function like we did a review on before. Very good tool to have. I'm not gonna buy this because I already have this. Allen key set. But we're gonna put, even comes with replacement blade. We're gonna pick up these items. And what else? You can get a pocket blade if you need it. If you don't have an everyday carry, I'll take this four in one. I'll take this four in one as well. Okay, thank you. These are gonna be the items that I throw in my car today, in my carry kit. Okay, these are good items to have. There was also a bigger carabiner I seen, but I don't see it. No, we're gonna throw these in the in the in the, uh, in the basket. I should take the sharpening stone, but I don't need to. We're gonna go with these. This is a good thing too. You can clip 10, 12 grocery bags in here full of groceries. Hold it without tearing your fingers up. 10, 12 bags of water, whatever. Good little tool to have. Another really, really good item that you could have in your carry kits. Some hand sanitizer, okay, throw that in there. You got all from your dollar store, your toothbrushes, your shampoo, your toothpaste sign, your shampoos, your deodorants, everything you need for personal hygiene right here in the store. 
We are back. We did our run. We got our shit. Now, I did go back into the Dollarama and I grabbed a hatchet for four dollars. A container to keep everything in. And some hydrogen peroxide antiseptic spray. Very good thing to have in the kit. So let's put this kit together. Like I said, good items to have. And everything came up in total to $49.48. So you got your garbage bags, good for a shelter, good for collecting rainwater, good for keeping you warm if you have to like use it as a sleeping bag or anything like that, keeping you dry. You have some gauze bandages. I'd also suggest some band-aids and things like such, okay. You have your antiseptic spray, peroxide, your paracord rope. Your matches. Your super glue. Your tea light candles, very good thing to have. Your duct tape. Sanitizer. Headache medicine. And your fire starter. You can always keep items just like this in your pocket. You can put your utility knife in your kit. You can put your hacksaw in your kit. Put your carabiner in your kit. Your knife if you'd like, but you can have that in your pocket. And then you have your water. All this would be something you might keep in your car. If you take everything out of the stock packaging, it'll fit much better, but I'm not going to do that. But this is something you could keep right in the back seat of your truck or car for under 50 bucks and survive for a couple days if you're lost, stranded, or stuck. Definitely something that would help you. An EDC survival kit for under $50 from your dollar store. Right here, folks. Your big brother Bruce B, WMAS Media. Showing you how to spend it on a budget, how to get it done. I'm out of here.